The story of my 27-week miracle baby part three. When I woke up from my emergency C-section, I was so medicated that I wasn't able to comprehend much of what had just happened. I was told that my baby was being stabilized in the NICU and was able to name him. The name that I chose was, of course, Beckham. They told me I wouldn't be able to see him until I had x-rays on my legs to see if they were both broken. Hunter was able to go back and meet Beckham, and he sent me videos and photos of him. As soon as I was cleared, I was able to go meet him with my dad. Immediately feeling the love of a mother and the potential loss of a mother at the same time was nearly unbearable. Little did I know, the road was yet to be rocky, and the journey ahead of us was steep. My days were soon to be filled with saying goodbye to my son instead of saying goodnight, and his life being in the hands of amazing medical professionals that I still owe my world to. My son fought for his life for 105 days in the NICU, and I witnessed miracles in the walls of that NICU that I still can't entirely comprehend. I will continue to share stories of the NICU and the unforgettable journey that we had getting him home. In the meantime, please remember that regardless of whatever hardship you're experiencing and your circumstances, that you can choose to be brave like Beckham.